I'd throw a regular four seam fastball. And what I found out is that, you know, I get a relatively high spin rate with good spin efficiency. It plays pretty well, but my spin axis depends on my arm slot with the fastball. And I have like kind of a mid three quarters arm slot. So it kind of gives me rise and run as my fastball pitch shape. So every time I'm throwing it, whether I'm playing catch, you know, initially or at the end of it when I'm doing crow hops or flat grounds or anything like that, all I'm trying to do is we pull down on these two seams and stay behind the ball with both my index and my middle finger and just stay through the ball as much as possible through my target and just feel as much friction as possible on my fingertips. And I'm just trying to rip the ball down as much as possible and trying to spin it and just trying to make it spin as truly as possible and not have like any type of deviation in any direction, just very true backspin. Utilizing the pitch tracker, there's a few different things I would key myself on. The first thing would be my velocity development over time. I would have test days where I would test out my velocity to see where I'm at. I would also focus on my spin efficiency for my fastball. You can control that, you can focus on it, you can develop it. Really, your spin efficiency on your fastball is an indicator of a lot of different things between your mechanical efficiency, how consistent you can repeat your mechanics. I try to be as mechanically efficient as possible by staying just really connected with my arm path by like keeping my hand inside my elbow for as long as possible, just so there isn't any early fly out with my, with my forearm. And I try to have a really good load with my hips just to get down the mound as efficiently as possible. And I'm just trying to generate as much force and use the entire kinetic chain from my left foot strike, the whole way up through my torso, and then from my shoulder out through my hand through the ball.